Well, here we are, guys. It's Wednesday, March 30th, and it's late afternoon. It's the first nice day since we went out last. We went perch fishing last week on uh, the first day of spring, and it was a blast. I actually forgot how much fun it really is. So since then, I got a lot of comments on the channel and on Facebook about our rigging setup, um, our electronics. So we're going to head out today and perch fish again. Basically, what we used last week was a medium power rod and a tried and true pickle rig system. So a medium power might be a little too stiff and it was tricky to try to feel that bite and set that hook on a medium power. Typically they say it should be medium light, even light. On the on a pickle rig I can see that with the spreaders. Let's face it, we're not sponsored fishermen. Uh, we don't have a rod and reel for every day of the week or for all these different applications. We all have a medium power rod. So I did ask around and did a little bit of research with some of our local, more experienced perch fishermen. And my question to them was, is there a rigging system other than the pickle rig that could allow a beginner fisherman who has a medium power rod to have the same amount of success? And a lot of the guys are now moving to a drop shot system, which we have here. Now I am more comfortable putting this in the hands of a youth or a beginner fisherman because it's a less tangled mess. And your rigging is directly to the main line. So using a medium power uh, rod, you should be able to get away with that good feel. Also, using live bait is a pet peeve, not only for me, but for seems like everybody. Handling minnows is a disaster. It takes away from your fishing. You're constantly changing your bait. And let's face it, it makes a mess all over your carpet on your boat. So with a drop shot system, we're probably going to get away with using some twister tails, even some live minnows, Berkeley Gulp product. And if it's remotely as productive as the pickle rig, then you got me sold. A lot of questions and comments about our electronics. So let's face it, it, it is important, but I'm not again going to tell you that you need to go buy the latest and greatest $10,000 unit. We are not sponsored fishermen and neither are you. So we all have 2D sonar. And in my opinion, if you get that system tweaked, there's nothing better than fishing with 2D sonar. It's actually the game changer. So check out the link above. I did put out a video a ways back about my settings that I use on the Detroit River that seem to work very well. I do plan on putting a cleaner version of that video out very shortly. But for now, if this has helped you in any way, please subscribe to our channel, like the videos, and keep sending those questions and comments in. I really enjoy answering them. Well, all right, let's get to it. Which is better? A drop shot or the pickle rig? Let's go fishing. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Here we go. You'll feel them bite and then you pull up. Well, you just gotta sit there nice and tight. Make sure the line's tight. Like this? Yeah. And every once in a while, just pick up the weight to make sure that it's not getting stuck. Just trying to get that way. What do you mean once in a while lift it up? Keep it tight. It is. 
like that. Just hold it like that. Now, reel, reel some in a little bit so your rod's not in the air like that. Go down so it's easier to hold. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna feel like that. Yeah, but lighter. Like that? Go for me. We better Bella, be like, can you see Dad? Yeah. Did you eat that banana yet? 
He goes like this. He was the one that ate it and dropped it. No, because Red likes to bring a banana on the boat. Well, not a productive night by any means. The water is actually pretty stained, uh, even in this cut. Temperature is about 37 degrees and the bite really wasn't on. So we're headed back, it's getting dark, calling a night. But with respects to the pickerel rig or the drop shot, they seem pretty equal. So good to know. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.